And we're continuing with the fifth chapter of David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. I am sent away from home. David is riding up at the front of the cab with, uh, of the coach, I should say, with uh, Mr. Barkus. There's all kinds of questions about Peggotty, who came and gave David some, uh, some cakes that he's sharing with Mr. Barkus. No sweet arts, I believe. Sweet meats, did you say, Mr. Barkus? For I thought he wanted something else to eat. So I thought he wanted something else to eat, and had pointedly alluded to that description of, the, of refreshment. Hearts, said Mr. Barkus. Sweethearts. No person walks with her. With Peggotty? Ah, he said, her. Oh no, she never had a sweetheart. Didn't she, though? said Mr. Barkus. Again, he made up his mouth to whistle, and again he didn't whistle, but sat looking at the horse's ears. So she makes, said Mr. Barkus, after a long interval of reflection, all the apple pa paste, all the apple parsties, and do's all the cooking, do she? I replied that such was a, the fact. Well, I'll tell you what, said Mr. Barkus, perhaps you might be writing to her. I shall certainly write to her, I rejoined. Ah, he said, slowly turning his eyes toward me. Well, if you was writing to her, Perhaps you'll recollect to say that Barkus was willing, would you? That Barkus is willing, I replied. Is that all the message? Yes, he said, considering. Yes, Barkus is willing. But you will be at Blunderstone again tomorrow, Mr. Barkus, I said, faltering a little at the idea of my being far away from it then. And could you give your own message so much better? And could give your own message so much better? As he repudiated this suggestion, however, with a jerk of his head, and once more confirmed his previous request by saying, with profound gravity, Barkus is with him. That's the message. I readily understood its transmission. While I was waiting for the coach in the hotel at Yarmouth that very afternoon, I procured a sheet of paper and an inkstand and wrote a note to Peggotty, which ran thus. My dear Peggotty, I have come here safe. Barkus is willing. My love to Mama, yours affectionately. P.S. He said, he says particular, he particularly wants you to know, Bacchus is willing, and we will pause there.